This video illustrates how carrier sends multiple axes with collision detection works on a bus topology. This is the basic structure of a bus topology. It consists of a main bus cable also called a trunk line or a bus which serves as a common transmission medium with, where all the nodes and hosts are connected. This is a single linear cable shared by all the devices on the network. At both ends of the trunk line are terminators. A terminator is a device that provides electrical resistance at the end of a transmission line, in our case cable. Its function is to absorb signals when they reach the end of the line, thereby keeping them from bouncing back and being received again by the network. Then the nodes or hosts are devices wanting to communicate within the network. These hosts attached to an ethernet are connected to a shared signaling system called the medium. Each host is equipped with 10 Mbps Ethernet interface. Embedded in this interface is medium axis control mechanism based on a system called Carrier Sense Multiple Axis with Collision Detection or CSMA slash CD. This ensures that all the devices access to the shared signaling channel is fair. This is how this protocol works. If computer A wishes to send data to computer B, the protocol enables computer A to sense if the network is idle. If the network is idle, meaning no other interface is using the channel, then it can start transmitting the data. These data to be transmitted are information converted into electronic data in a form of Ethernet frame or packet. Ethernet frame consists of a standardized set of bits used to carry data over the system. Once the data is transmitted, it sends signal that the channel is in use. Other computers or hosts in the network must wait until this signal ceases before one of them can transmit data. This process is called the carrier sense. This data or Ethernet frame contains the destination's address. So, when it is received by a wrong host, this host retransmits the data until it reaches its correct destination. Each host, by the way, has a unique address in the network. After the data is received, it travels again to the channel until it reaches or absorbed by the terminator. Once the signal ceases, each computer in the network has equal opportunity of transmitting the data. This is called the multiple axis. In case two hosts simultaneously transmits data, those frames have a tendency to collide in the channel. When this happens, collision detection of the interface stops the transmission and notifies the host. It then reschedules retransmission of the frames using specially designed back-off algorithm in a random time interval to prevent successive collision of the same frames.